We've had one day of 75 degree weather here in Iowa and we're ready for that tropical drink. So we wanted to do a coconut rum based cocktail and we just did the old Google search and found Dipper's Guide had this cocktail on there and it sounded really good. And a bottle that we haven't touched in probably two years or apricot brandy. Right. Today we're gonna make the Goombay Smash. This cocktail was created by Emily Cooper at the- Blue Bee Bar. At the Blue Bee Bar in New Plymouth. The original recipe is secret, but it is said to have coconut rum, dirty rum, apricot brandy and pineapple juice. Take from that is their dirty rum was probably some sort of spiced rum, right? Right, but we will not be using spiced rum today. We'll be using Jamaican rum. Jamaican rum, yep. Because that's what Dipper's that, recipe called for. Yep, they're using an apricot liqueur. We're just gonna go ahead and use an apricot brandy because that's what we have. Right. And that's what they think the original recipe calls for. It has coconut rum, which technically is not a rum if it's below 40% ABV. Right. Because it has over 2.5% added sugar to it. Yes. Malibu rum is technically not a rum. It's technically a rum-based liqueur. There you go. That is exactly the best way to describe it. We are choosing Burnley Gold Shipwreck coconut rum for this cocktail because it's the best damn coconut rum we've ever had. Coconut rum liqueur that we've ever tried. Sure. <laughs> we got this in Dallas. Uh, Jessica Savage, she's been raving about this rum for years now, and we tried it when we visited in Arizona and we were able to find our own bottle. So today, that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna just use your standard Appleton Estate Jamaican rum. Then you have oranges, pineapple, and limes. So yeah, you just wanna make it? Yep. Cool. We're gonna start off with two dashes of Angostura bitters, one third of an ounce of lime juice, one ounce of fresh orange juice, one and a half ounces of pineapple juice, half ounce of apricot brandy, one ounce of coconut rum, and one ounce of Jamaican aged rum. Add ice and shake for 12 to 15 seconds. Strain over ice. And today we're gonna garnish with a pineapple slice. And why not do a pineapple prong? And use a reusable straw. All right, so we got, I think a good looking cocktail. Just yeah. like, like a light yellow hue to it. Mm -hmm. Also, we don't we didn't use fresh pressed uh, pineapple juice because that would take a lot of pineapple. So we bought a expensive organic pineapple juice. Yes. So we just use that. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try it. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh wow! I was nervous that the coconut wouldn't pull through, mm -hmm. but it does. It does. It's slight, like all the flavors are like. This is a very well balanced cocktail. I would say it's very well, they're all like yeah. leveled together. Uh -huh. And the apricot brandy kind of stands out a little bit more than I thought it was. It adds a whole roundedness mm -hmm. to the to a standard juicy tiki drink or yeah. tropical drink. Yeah, because I'm really, there's no sugar added to it. Obviously you get the pineapple juice and the orange juice to be your sugar and then the sugar sweetness from like the coconut rum and, and the so, brandy and the brandy. So right. this is actually really good. This is dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> Cause how many ounces, so it's, it's an ounce and a half Two of... Two and a half ounces of, of alcohol. I know Steve the barman did a, he used 12 year Appleton Estate for mm -hmm. his, and I bet that would just kind of add a little more complexity to it. Yeah. But I definitely see why they're using an aged Jamaican rub, you know? Yeah, I actually kind of want to try it with a spice rum too. Mm -hmm. This is great. I definitely think this is worth buying, making. Yes. You know, obviously, you know, if you have the apricot liqueur, I know the, is it Giffords or? Different. Different. No, Gifford. Yeah, Gifford. Yeah. I know people really like that. That mm -hmm. would probably work really well in this. This is definitely, you batch this up and have a pool sign, just drink gallons of this every day. This uh, will not last the remainder of this video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much else we have to say, except for this uh, upcoming comparison video, we're gonna compare four different coconut rums. So excited about that. Mm -hmm. We're, we, I'm not even gonna tell you what rums we're gonna try. You can guess in the comments below what rums we'll try. Coconut rum liqueurs. So yeah. I'll just be over here. <laughs> I'll just be over here doing me. If you like this content, obviously subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers. See you didn't finish. You guys are already done.